waiting for a man who says he's going to blow the lid off the secrets of the religion of the stars to tell the story of the dark side of the Church of Scientology. Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to my channel again. Uh, I wanted to do a short uh, video today about Scientology's attitude toward law enforcement. Uh, this comes up very often. Um, it'll come up again when the Danny Masterson trial begins again. Uh, Scientology, with respect to this subject, like many subjects in Scientology, has a, a sort of a dual uh, view of things. Uh, one view that is presented to the world and one view that is actually the internal true perspective of Scientology about this subject. To the outside world, Scientology seeks to uh, make it appear that they are completely and, and uh, totally behind law enforcement. They wish to cooperate with them at every opportunity. They support them. They do fundraising for them. Uh, notoriously, they have done fundraising, particularly in California at the Celebrity Center with the Hollywood division of the LAPD, headed by uh, then chief of that division, Corey Polka, who some of you probably now know is under investigation for being uh, influenced and who knows whether that the influence of Scientology is going to come out of that. Uh, this here is a shot of Corey Palka being given $20,000 at the Scientology Celebrity Center uh, some time ago. And he follows in the footsteps of Lee Baca, the former sheriff of Los Angeles County, who was a big Scientology ally. But in any event, all of this is pursuant to Hubbard's policy of safe pointing. And by safe pointing, he means creating safe uh, points in society that will protect Scientology. And of course, having the local police on your side is always helpful. And so Scientology devotes a lot of time and effort, particularly their PR people, to trying to make um, local law enforcement ally with them. You see pictures of, of law enforcement officers from all over the world show up in Scientology promotional pieces. You know, this is a, this is a thing that uh, they're very proud of and they like to use. But the truth of the matter is something very, very different. Um, in the Masterson case and in other matters that have come up, the, the outside world of former Scientologists have made it clear that Scientology has policies that prevent people from going to law enforcement. And Leah and I have talked about this. A lot of other people have talked about it. Uh, there is no question that if you are a Scientologist, your first inclination and the first requirement for you when uh, coming across something that should be reported to law enforcement is in fact to report it to the Office of Special Affairs. And uh, this has come up many, many, many times. Scientology then puts out statements uh, routinely saying there's no policy in Scientology preventing anyone from reporting anything to the police. And in fact, that really is just not true. Um, and no matter how many times these things get shown, they never get old. I'm going to read some quotes from Hubbard's book, The Introduction to Scientology Ethics, this book here, which is the Bible of Scientology Ethics and Justice, and is currently the, this is the current edition of the book, and these quotes are, take, are taken from that current edition of the book. 
And what it says is these things are high crimes in Scientology. In other words, they're suppressive acts. They can get you declared and thrown out of Scientology, your family disconnected from, you're jo fired from your job if you work for a Scientologist. Uh, it, it's the harshest uh, penalties for the harshest infractions and these are considered to be among the harshest infractions that a Scientologist can engage in. Delivering up the person of a Scientologist without defense or protest to the demands of civil or criminal law. Well, that's pretty clear. <laughs> you just can't turn someone over to law enforcement or even a civil litigant without running afoul of Scientology. Reporting or threatening to report Scientology or Scientologists to civil authorities in an effort to suppress Scientology or Scientologists from practicing or receiving standard Scientology. Now, Scientology likes to pass this one and say, well, it says preventing them from receiving, stand, practicing or receiving standard Scientology. Well, anybody that's turned over to law enforcement is no longer eligible to participate in Scientology auditing. And so this applies, if they choose to apply it, to any circumstance. There is a lot of things in Scientology like this where uh, the application of what it says can be very, very arbitrary. In this case, it's not arbitrary. It is always that way. You can't report someone to civil authorities without running afoul of Scientology. Public statements against Scientology or Scientologists, but not to committees of evidence duly convened. You can't go before a, a public hearing on, on, on the subject and make a statement without running afoul of Scientology. You can't uh, testify anywhere without running afoul of Scientology because that's not a committee of evidence duly convened. You can't bring a lawsuit against anybody, a civil lawsuit against anybody without having authorization from Scientology. There I am. This is really how Scientology views this interaction with law enforcement, despite what they say, despite their public protests, uh, claiming that there's no policy against it. There absolutely is. And even beyond that, every single Scientologist knows that anything that comes up that may result in interaction with the media like a PR problem or situation, or interaction with the police, like an ongoing crime or something that came up that, that should be reported, that the first thing that you must do is report this to the Office of Special Affairs. Now, there is a, a, a even larger, more important point here, because this is all... Um, these, these rules and regulations are all premised on an underlying fundamental idea that Hubbard had that, again, is expressed very clearly in this book that I just showed you, Introduction to Scientology Ethics, that law enforcement is actually uh, a terrible... Um, a terrible thing in society. The courts, the justice system, they're all bad. And that getting into the hands of the courts and the justice system is, is tantamount to a death sentence. It is the worst thing that can happen from a Scientology perspective. The only people that can solve crime are Scientologists. And that gets solved by auditing people and by moving them up the bridge, and that everything else is barbaric and uh, 
old school psych influenced handlings of people. So the idea that law enforcement or the court system or the judiciary is um, in any way, shape or form an acceptable venue for Scientologists to find themselves in is just not in the cards. In fact, the writings of Hubbard in, in Introduction to Scientology Ethics are, are, are some of the most over-the-top uh, statements about the WOG world. WOG is the, the term that, Sign, that Hubbard coined to describe everybody that's not a Scientologist. And everybody that's not a Scientologist, in the eyes of Scientologists, are uninformed, are ignorant, and are many of them are intent on the destruction of Scientology and the destruction of mankind and keeping people slaves and, you know, all sorts of, of, of ideas that get planted in the minds of Scientologists about the WOG world. But let me just read you some things to leave no doubt in anybody's mind as to whether Scientology is pretending to be cooperative with law enforcement and really on the side of law enforcement or not. Because as every Scientologist knows, the words of L. Ron Hubbard are to be taken literally. They cannot be changed. They cannot be interpreted or altered. This is just the law of Scientology. And this is one of the final chapters in his book about the about the ethics and justice in the world. And here is how this chapter starts out. It, it's called A New Hope for Justice. And he says, as they themselves are contaminated by their criminal associates, and they themselves means the court system, the legal system generally, the police and court systems are, in the main, composed of downstats who couldn't make it in life any other way. Now, downstat in Scientology is a, a term that is used to describe a person who is unproductive, who isn't really, um, who's like a bum. That's like the shorthand term. Societies traditionally cave in through their police and justice systems since these provide a channel of contamination between the vicious and lawless and decent people. Eventually, such police and justice systems, aided by advice from criminal practitioners, let me just go to the next page here. Such as psychologists and psychiatrists sink into a belief that all men are criminals. Now going down to the next highlight. Police and courts offer an open armed opportunity to the vicious and corrupt to establish themselves in a position of safety while satisfying their strange appetites of perverted viciousness toward their fellow man. Justice systems thereby become a sort of cancer which erode every splendid ambition and achievement of the decent citizen. Quote, justice, unquote, apparently cannot be trusted in the hands of man. The FBI charter muse about safeguarding the populace, but hides and is utterly disregarded by an organization whose principles are carefully planned wholly on terrorism and conducts itself more lawlessly than any criminal it ever listed as public enemy number one. Who is public enemy one, number one today? The FBI. Its obvious target is every opinion leader and public spirited group in America. To the FBI, their own charter is not only a subject for mirth, but the Constitution itself, which they are sworn in to uphold, is just garbage, which impedes their headlong terror zeal in the name of justice, and even calling themselves the Justice Department, 
they practice every conceivable perversion of injustice. With their terror tools, preferring lies to fact, they have created a police state in which no man, woman, or child, or even a politician is safe, neither from downstats nor the FBI. To the FBI, all men are guilty and can't be proven innocent, and behind her bandaged eyes, justice herself weeps. In the name of justice, they have condemned this society to death. Now, this is the words of L. Ron Hubbard. And I don't think that there can be much doubt that he views law enforcement and the justice system and particularly the FBI as a, a horror uh, that is inflicted upon society. And Scientologists do not believe anything other than what L. Ron Hubbard says. If L. Ron Hubbard says that this is the case, in the minds of Scientologists, this is the case. And you'll note that he talks in there about, you know, the, uh, supporting the Constitution and people's rights. If you go and look at the video that I did fairly recently uh, called the DOJ Scathing Takedown of Scientology, where Department of Justice lawyers combed through the evidence that they had collected from Scientology and laid out their, their reasoning for why the sentencing should be, should be harsh, you will see that these same protests, that they took them up, like Scientology is, has a constitutional right and is following the Constitution and they're a religious organization and they want uh, this and that. And they pulled each one of those things apart. They are not, in fact, true. Uh, Scientology has a disdain for all WAG law, including the Constitution. If the Constitution in some way impedes the forward progress of Scientology, or forward progress, I should say, because it's really going backwards. But Scientology does not believe that they have an obligation to cooperate with, tell the truth to, or participate in any law enforcement or justice system activities. And, you know, I also covered some of this in an, another earlier video I did called Why Scientologists Lie. I will put links to these. Uh, I'm going to do or have a blog post up concurrent with this that will have these documents so you can see them if you wish uh, and, and download them for yourself. Again, th this document, this these statements by L. Ron Hubbard, should be known by all law enforcement and all courts that are engaged in any sort of activity that involves Scientology. You have got to know what it is that you are dealing with. These people do not believe that the court system uh, requires their candor, their honesty, or their cooperation. And... That's the message that, that everybody in the justice system needs to understand if they are dealing with Scientology. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. You know, if you're not a subscriber to this channel already, please click subscribe, click the like button. Uh, until the next time, thanks so much and bye.